Hello from Connecticut. I am about to leave for my trip. You guys obviously know now where I'm going. I haven't traveled internationally in nine and a half years, I think. Some of you may know from me mentioning it in other videos that I studied abroad in London. I just loved London so much and it was just such an amazing semester for me. How this all started was back in, I think, April. Phantom of the Opera closed on Broadway. I called my mom and I was like, hey, did we ever see the Phantom of the Opera on Broadway? My mom was like, yeah, we did see it on Broadway and it's my favorite show and if you ever want to go again I'll go with you and I was like oh well it just closed she was really disappointed so then a week later she calls me she's like how about London Phantom's playing there and we can go and see other shows while we're there and I know you love London and I've She's, my mom's only been once and it was in the 70s. That is how this whole trip kind of came together. Of course, London being one of the most vegan friendly cities in the world, I am so excited for the food and that's mostly what I'm gonna be showing and talking about in this vlog or these vlogs. All packed, only bringing one suitcase and it, boy, let me tell you, it is heavy. I ended up getting this tote a few weeks ago on Poshmark. This is the Angela Roy share tote, which I had been eyeing for a really long time. I ended up finding it in really good condition on Poshmark for $100, which I thought was a very good price for it, but it is jam packed. I've got some stasher bags. I have some pistachios and dried mango. I have to leave soon, so I really need to not be filming right now. Yeah, let's go to London. It allows us to kill some time before we check into our Airbnb because we can't check in until three. I will catch you guys up once we're on the bus. from London. I feel like a brand new person today. Thankfully, I got such a good night's sleep. First up today is getting breakfast and I'm going somewhere that I'm really excited for. British people would probably be like, oh God, you're excited to go there. But yes, I am. And you guys will laugh when you figure out why and you will understand when you figure out why. So let's go get some breakfast. acquired my very British vegan breakfast. As you can see, I went to Greg's to get their sausage roll. Had a little bit of a snafu because there's two Greg's, 
almost equidistant from where we're staying. I just picked the one that was a little bit closer and I get there, no vegan sausage rolls. So I was like, oh, great. Oh, I guess I have to go to the other one. So I go to the other one. This one does have vegan sausage rolls in the case, but it's basically just like a roll with sausage in it. So first I was like, oh, yay. And then I was like, that's not what I thought it looked like. Then as I get closer to the counter, I see that they have the, the ones that, that I like was imagining, which are these ones. So I guess they have two different things that they call vegan sausage rolls. They also had hash browns, so I grabbed some of these. I had thought Greg's was kind of like a British version of 7-Eleven. Now that I've been, it's, it's a British version of Dunkin' Donuts. A few years ago, they came out with a vegan version of their sausage rolls and it was a really big deal. Pierce Morgan posted this angry tweet and was like, oh, you bloody, whatever he called them. And Greg's responded and was like, uh, Piers, like, we're happy to see you here. We were expecting you or something funny like that. I have been wanting to try a vegan sausage roll from Greg's ever since, so let's try it. Here is what it looks like. It's got this like braided, flaky puff pastry. Let's try it. Really, really tasty. Oh my gosh. It's basically exactly what I thought it would be and hoped it would be. It is a very flaky puff pastry and the sausage is just really delicious. It's got a really nice texture. It's not too overly chewy. The only thing about the sausage roll is that it's cold and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be warm. I had some British pounds with me. I had 15 pounds from when I studied abroad in 2008 and I've had them. I just like keep stumbling upon them over the years and being like, oh, I need to keep these in case I ever go back. I brought them with me, like, great. I'll just use those this morning. I go to pay at Greg's and he's like, no, no, um, you need to you need to go to a bank and change these out. These are these are out of date. Like these aren't you can't use these anymore. And I was like, what? I guess cash expires in England and you have to go get new cash. That would never happen in the US. I caught up with you guys when we were in Pret. We headed back over to Victoria, Victoria coach station for the bus tour. It was just so much fun. Just the vibe on the bus, the music they were playing, the decor, the service was amazing. The people were so friendly and chipper and just like they, it, everything was just perfect. We did get the best seats on the entire bus. The vegan food that they provided for me was absolutely delicious. The tea was delicious, of course. I ended up getting Earl Grey because I was like, that just feels so appropriate for England. And I love Earl Grey anyway. It had already started raining a little bit before we got on the subway. We got off, it was like fully raining and we had to walk to pick up the key for our Airbnb, which wasn't far, but it was raining and I didn't have an umbrella. I was just getting soaked, just like vegged the rest of the night. So today we are going to the Paul McCartney photo exhibit at the National Portrait Gallery, which we're both super excited for. I used to love coming to the National Portrait Gallery and my mom's a huge Beatles fan and so am I. This is a bunch of photos that Paul took in the 60s of the Beatles and has never, have never been seen before. I like blow dried and straightened my hair before the trip. And then the London sky had other plans for my hair, so. After all that rain, my hair got wavy again. By the way, I'm wearing this vintage Beatles shirt. And yes, I'm wearing it to the Paul McCartney photo exhibit, which I think is just so fun. back from Bubala in Soho. Loved it. So we got the hummus and then we got the grapefruit esme. Esma? Esma, I think it's called. We got the falafel to share. Then we got the peanut tahini carrots, which looked really good. That was a little bit of a bigger plate. Everything else was really small plates. 
And uh, we also got, you, you pick what you want to order to dip in things. So we got the crudités and laffa, I think. It's a little bit different from pita, which was a great call because I'm like, I, I really like laffa. I prefer laffa to pita, I have discovered. The hummus, it came with a jalapeno oil, which I requested that they don't put on because my mom doesn't like spice. So what they did was they put... It was supposed to come with apricot as well, but the apricot, I guess, is soaked in the jalapeno oil. So they put that on the side and it was basically like this chopped apricot, jalapeno oil, chili crunch type of thing or like a chili crisp. So I would like dip the hummus and then like put a little bit of that. It was so fucking good. The Beatles exhibit was so, so incredible. Just like seeing all these little anecdotes from Paul just on the walls, really loved that. We're going to see Crazy For You tonight. So randomly, my mom met this woman who, where my mom works, my mom's a veterinarian. This woman is the producer of this play that we're seeing tonight. And it just randomly came up in conversation. This is like months after we booked this play. Anyway, so she, I guess, is setting something up for us to like, have a you know VIP experience or something, which is very sweet of her. So that's gonna be tonight. And I'm definitely just gonna eat the leftovers that I got from lunch uh, for dinner. And yeah, I'll check back in tonight when we're ready to go. London. We had a late night and so we're having a slow morning. I had very little expectation going into it. I have to say I was completely blown away by it. I loved it. We loved it. Everyone around us loved it. It was such an incredible show. We were treated to a VIP area before the show and also during intermission but we didn't use it during intermission and then after the show we met this with this guy that who was the manager of the show who was so so nice and he was like let's take you on a tour of backstage and we we're like okay cool so he took us on a, a tour of the backstage which was really cool to see so yeah it was all really fun but it was pretty late by the time we got home it was like 11 10 or so and then my mom she's really into doing these blogs when she travels, so she had me set up a blog and we've been updating it every day. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Last night it was my turn, so I was writing the blog post. My mom um, decided she really wants to see St. Paul's Cathedral. And then we're going to, um, we're gonna do the London Eye, which we rescheduled from yesterday. wrapped up at St. Paul's. We're right in front of Millennium Bridge. So I think we're gonna walk across the bridge, try to get restaurant, try to get food at this little Asian place, but they closed early, I guess. So we just had some snacks. My mom had gotten me a protein bar. That was pretty good. Now we're gonna head over to the London Eye and do that. And then we will have some dinner in Covent Garden. We just booked it.
are getting ready to head to the theater. I am wearing this top that I found at a thrift store in Portland, Maine. It's this vintage kind of like 80s sequined velvet blazer. I absolutely love it. Little shoulder pads, the gold button details. I just thought it was so perfect for this trip and it was $20. We had our dinner at Mildred's. It was so delicious. I had been to Mildred's back when I was here in 2008. I was a little nervous about my mom liking the food. I was so proud of her because she ended up getting the chicken kebabs, which I just, I didn't know really what to expect for those. And she loved them. She said it was the best vegan food she's ever had. I don't know, it just felt like a really big win. And then my Caesar salad was so fucking good. They actually forgot to put, I had ordered, you could add rashers to it, which is basically bacon. They forgot to put them in, I guess. And so they ended up bringing them on the side and it was really good bacon. I meant to ask if it's house made or if it's a company that they buy. And I tried my mom's, hers was so delicious. We ended up getting chocolate cake and uh, that came with a side of caramel ice cream. It's just so nice when you just, just having like a good dinner with a good ambiance and service and it's just everything is right. It's so rare to have that. But tonight we're going to see Operation Mincemeat. When I was researching in um, the Reddits for the West End and Broadway, people were like, Operation Mincemeat, Operation Mincemeat is a must. So we're both going into it not knowing really what to expect, but both very excited. do a little Planet Organic haul. First and foremost, what I'm the most excited about for these chips, simply roasted mature cheddar and red onion and fair vegan. I, you would never see a chip like this on the US grocery store shelves and they'd be like, let me just check if it's vegan, like wishful thinking. It's usually the opposite of something where you're like, oh, this should be vegan and then you turn it around and it's like milk powder. I've just been excited to try snacks here. That's like one of the things I've been the most excited to try. And then I got this, they had such a nice vegan cheese section, but it's just like how much vegan cheese are we gonna have time to eat? It's a cashew cheese and it's herbs de Provence, which I know my mom really likes. I was really interested in the kombucha selection, of course, cause it's been hard to find kombucha since I've been here. And the ones that I have found all have stevia in them. So I ended up getting this Momo turmeric kombucha. I actually forgot to check if it had stevia, but it doesn't thankfully. Then I got this cola. I love trying healthier colas and this one looked really good. So I wanna just do a taste test of the kombucha and the chips. Mmm, really delicious. These look so good. Absolutely delicious looking. Oh my God, these are really good. Very light tasting, my mom would love these. And I really don't wanna share them because I really like them and I want the whole bag to myself. The play, Operation Mincemeat was phenomenal. It was just so, so special and unique and just like really pretty thrilling. Like I feel like I'm going to be thinking about it, um, thinking about the story, thinking about the music. It was just so cool. And I think it's going to become a very big musical 
and I'm just so grateful that we got to see it here. Yeah, so now we're just gonna relax for a little bit. Uh, it's almost five and we have Phantom at 7.30. Outfit for Phantom. Right now I'm getting ready because we are going to afternoon tea at the Savoy. When we first talked about doing this trip or when we first decided we were going to do it, one of the first things I did was starting to research vegan teas in London, uh, vegan afternoon teas, because it's just something I've always wanted to do. I never did it when I was here um, last time, probably because it was too expensive. So I had been looking up vegan teas in London and the Savoy kept coming up. It seems pretty iconic and they have a fully vegan tea menu in addition to a vegetarian tea menu and a regular tea menu and we were like okay great we'll do that and it's literally across the street from where we're staying in terms of booking things we booked the shows really early on um we booked you know just just like different things we booked that we thought would have to be booked way in advance i didn't realize tea was something that had to be booked way in advance a little over a week ago my mom and i were talking about our final plans and we were like okay i guess we should book the savoy tea because that was something that we were like let's wait and figure out when is going to be best to do it before we book it. I searched for the time and the date we wanted and it was like nothing available until October 21st and I was like well that can't be right and I ended up calling them and like looking into it and people were like oh yeah no yeah the tea books up like months in advance you need to book it way ahead of time and I was like fuck. On the phone they were like yeah there's no wait list nothing like that but if someone cancels, like as soon as they cancel, it'll pop back up online. So keep checking. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna keep obsessively refreshing Open Table. I did, and I ended up, a reservation ended up coming up pretty quickly. The time that came up was Sunday at 12.45. So I was like, okay, fine, I will take it. That was something that I was like, I think I did a pretty good job with researching and planning, but that was something that I was like, wow, I guess I really dropped the ball on that. Phantom was, it was really, really good. We were in the fourth row, and which were amazing seats right in the center. And if you guys know Phantom, there's the chandelier moment, which I remember that there is a chandelier moment, but I didn't remember what exactly happens. So at the very beginning of the play, the chandelier like comes through the audience and then ascends, and it came right over our heads and went up directly above our heads. And then at the end of act one, there's this moment where the chandelier starts sparking and then falls and it fell directly. Like we were looking, it was coming directly down onto us, went back on its trajectory toward the stage, you know, but it's like right above our heads and then it like sparks and explodes and that's the end of act one. So we were just, <laughs> neither of us remembered that that was going to happen. And for us to have like that, I don't know, just for our seats to be right there. It was just really cool.
That's why I asked the God's place to like That's what I didn't want to tell her. She wanted me to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very happy. It is Sunday night. We just got back from Westminster Abbey. There was a free organ recital that my mom really wanted to go to, so that's what we did. It's not exactly my type of thing, um, but it was cool to see the pipes and everything in action. It was also cool to be inside Westminster Abbey. Exhausted now, just going to take it easy for the night, but I thought it would be a good night to try the cheese that I got at Planet Organic. So this company is called Palace Culture. I'm hoping that it will be Delicious, so let me open it up and I'll try it. Okay. Mmm, good. I kinda wanna try it on its own so I can just taste it. Really good. The Herb de Provence are so flavorful. It's good, right? And while I'm taste testing, we just popped out to Sainsbury's to get these, which I picked up on a whim the other day and we both really liked. But these looked very interesting to me. They remind me of sour power straws, which I used to love when I was younger. So I don't know if these are sour. They're called fizzy strawberry straws. And it says right on them that they're vegan. Oh my God. They taste like sour power straws. Why can't we have that at Whole Foods? So we have a bunch of like stevia riddled nonsense that tastes like shit. Happy. Also, I realized I haven't updated on our tea experience yet, but I will do that later tonight or tomorrow because I'm really hungry and need to get some dinner. Mm -hmm.